let's take a look. Oh, we already have one view. I guess I'm online. I will trust that. Welcome back, everyone. Let me prepare the table. I have been adding some tasks in the last 10 minutes. I'm thinking about crap and how to run away or something. But we need work because three days ago I skipped the day and had too much fun on the night of the 19. And all of a sudden the sun was up and I screwed my sleep schedule and yeah i was sleeping most of the day of the 20th and i was trying to work yesterday but i didn't work silly me so unfortunately i at least i worked a little bit in here but that was like to cover up this day because the day this day didn't do a lot so i missed the day i missed the day last last time Let's try not to do that again. <clears throat> so, few things I need to change. First of all, I changed my mind and I'm go not going to finish the whole dialogue fiasco. Um, and instead of go, uh, I'm going to work till, yeah, only two weeks. Yeah, I have two weeks. No, less than two weeks. A week and a half. <coughs> we have Arabic Jam, Arabic Jam, that sounds funny, we have Game Jam, Arabic Game Jam, on September 2, and I'm trying to attend that, and I'm going to stream the whole thing for two days, even my sleeping time, it will be streamed, I'm not sure if the stream will be happy to receive 24 hours of I'm not sure if that will work uh, maybe I need to ask the guys if I can stream the whole thing yeah that's a good idea uh, we are wasting time instead of talking of the work we are talking about uh, what we are going to do so let's jump to it so let me try to do something that I ha have failed to do three times in a row which is to prevent the weapon to attack when the weapon doesn't have an attack I mean in the game you can make the weapons attack have secondary attack triple attack not triple attack trio attack I don't know how you call it um, I need to prevent that from painting uh, so for, for example if I have the weapon and attack it shouldn't crash Thanks God. If I give him a weapon and attack, it have a f primary attack and a secondary attack. And actually, the, the the game engine is so precise. You can control it in a way that you can change the behavior of the primary attack and all the secondary attacks based on what you're doing. For example, the secondary attack shoot three bullets but when i start moving it will become two bullets if i jump actually it doesn't work because i didn't do anything and this is one of the problems if the weapon doesn't have an attack in a certain position it will screw up the um, the, the the character customization as you can see same when i roll and I try to jump it will stop in the middle and I'm not sure if I need to prevent that by hard code. I'll try to find a way. I'll, I, I tried several times to find a way to make it a general rules uh, to prevent this kind of crap. But as you can see, I moved on and I started working on the dialogue. But I, I need uh, sooner or later to return back and try to make it as smooth as possible. Nobody want to play a game that has these kinds of issues. So, I'm going to add the same condition of the equipment condition. Actually, not the equipment condition, but we are going to access the equipment from there. 
uh, to try to prevent adding the attack if the weapon doesn't has an attack. So I don't know why. Maybe I thought about that, but I didn't. But I did. But I didn't. Anyway, these attacks only work with ranged weapons, and we know where the ranged weapons live. So we are kind of lucky. Kind of lucky. So if target, uh, maybe not. Uh, whip. And do we have the second project? Let me close these two. We are going to return to them soon. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I remember what was the problem. The problem is the attack was in the blueprint, not in the object. But I will keep trying to, I will, I will try to access it no matter what. So let's access the character and access his equipment. So we have something called main range. Equip. What now? Yeah, I love it when it do that. Dude, fuck off. He's worrying about something completely different. This one return unequivable. It might be a weapon and it might be not. Mm. This is another problem. But both of them should have attacks. It doesn't matter. Let me see. Now I wish if I have two tabs for the classes so this is the main blueprint for both the weapons and the creatures and it does have an attack I was right so let me see Do I need to add an interface? Should all iQuivable have an attack? No, they shouldn't. But both of them have attacks. Hmm. I might regret that. I might regret that. And I might regret that. Let's see. Yeah, this. I mean, armor doesn't have an attack, but I was planning to make it. Um, 
as a weapon, it doesn't matter. All of them called weapons. So I can do that, but I don't know how. So the I equivable. Wait a minute. Should it be the creature object I equivable? Not the animated particle. Because that thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing shouldn't be. Oh, it is, it is not. It is not. It is not. Alright, alright, alright. So you cannot equip the blueprint itself. You can equip the creatures or weapons. So let's see. So let me adjust the interface and say attack. Well, we want to do the find attack thing. String attack name. Well, <clears throat> um, it must be two strings actually. Attack name and animation name. Because the same attack can be used in more than one. In more than one situation. So let's do that. Actually, let me mention that in here. So we will put it somewhere in the properties. And it should be public. Am I losing myself today? second if game core freaking a core game no game core was correct current game Yeah, yeah. C name. Attack AR. Contains key. New tuple.
All right. So let's do the same thing in the uh, weapons. And we are going to use the W in here. And this should be the weapons they are. All right. One last thing, because this guy now is and equipped oh find attack uh oh so we hit the same problem we don't know the animation yet actually we do actually we do Um, do I know the attack? Yeah, we do, 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 we do. The animation name should be all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. He's always unhappy with something. Come on, give me a break, y'all. All right, as not now, <sighs> I could make it a question mark crab, but let's, let's do this, return attack and return nothing. And here we do almost the same thing. The only difference is, is fire two and attack two. Let's see how much did we screw up the code. Ah, it doesn't run at all. All right. Oh, the accessories are equivalent too. Hmm. All right, whatever, sure. Um, but accessories like how the helm look and how the armor look and the layers. Accessories represent the layer in this, in here. Uh, return, no. I should say not implemented, whatever, but mm, sure. All right, can we test it now, please? So let's take a look. Let's try to fire without having any weapon and it crash, motherfucker. All right. Of course. I need to test the thing if it is null or not first because the weapon doesn't exist. That's why it crashed. So if this sucker is not null and oh, I must say it contains this thing. Or it will crash again. I love these conditions. But we will take it easy. We will take it easy. Contains key. Even though this condition is only for this character. Yeah, why do I need that? I don't need that. Screw it. It's only for this character. And I know this character have... Wait a second. Yeah, yeah, I have. All right. The main range slot, but the slot was empty because he didn't have a weapon in the first place. So once again, let's try to fire without having a weapon after we close the dialogue that we haven't finished yet. And it crash again. Lovely. Now what? Uh, 
<sighs> Something is now. And it's not my anger. He has me in range. Main melee. Well, what is now? What the fuck is now? No reference exception. <coughs> Oops, sorry. The stupid filter is hitting the microphone. Your job is to filter my voice, not to add noise. Damn it. Alright. I'm testing it if it's not or no, uh, if it's null or not, and it still fails. Um, something is not correct. I mean, it crashed here, not in the turret itself, which is the creature object. So if we go to the function, it returned the equipment slot AR and when I go to the code here and check the target and go to the uh, to the equipment slot AR it says I have four and he says system no reference exception I want to kill someone sometimes where here how Why it didn't? Okay. Hmm. So it seems it's fine here. It's fine here. It's not fine here. And he's pointing at this, which it doesn't make any fucking sense. Why is it doing this to me? So he's idle. I don't see anything null at all. Well, the hole is null, which Okay, okay, let's let, let's try to let's try to figure this out. Now, what the heck is going on? I I never came here before, but maybe it doesn't say anything new under the sun. And why cannot I scroll? Screw it, screw it, screw it. Anonymous method? Hmm. Wait. Are they talking about here? Oh, yeah, it's just inside the anonymous method. Okay. Okay. What is null, damn it? Object reference not set to an instance of an object. 
let me test it without a, with a weapon because my patience is burning and just I need to calm down a little bit I have a weapon but he doesn't fire so maybe if I figure out what I screwed up in here uh, so he's an idol actually more than one idol the current animation yeah the current animation <coughs> is not supported actually so the current animation should be idle either one or two or three if i go hmm, I cannot check the attacks from here. But I can from here. So the animation should call all range attack. But hmm. Yeah, and even if this is working, uh, we need to know the future animation name. We have the same freaking problem. So, this is one of the problems that I tried to solve like seven times in a row the last week. And none of them worked. It's just a little bit complicated. Yeah, the um, only way to solve this Actually, I did that to make a function that But it was too complicated and I, I deleted Oh well So this one failed again, this attempt failed again it's just funny. Uh, let me actually make a comment on my attempt. I'm not going to delete it because I'm almost there. Almost there. The problem is we need to know the an the correct animation name. So let me return them as they are. Maybe I could prevent that by doing some kind of another kind of tricks. By like, I don't know. But this way is not easy to... If I'm going to try to do it in this way, it's not easy to prevent it. Oh well, <laughs> wasted 30 minutes. Oh, I'm 20 minutes or something. And it's not solved. <laughs> yeah, this problem I'll never solve it in a lifetime. Screw it. There, there are many ways, like... But, but none of them as smooth as I wanted. Alright, many component. The many let me close these suckers. The many components weapon object can take either a dialogue or an array of strings. So here it take a dialogue. And it's a little bit ugly to send the dialogue by ourselves in the game. So instead I'm going to send only one string to 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 to, to the constructor or actually it's not a constructor either it's a function because it should be a singleton crap. Um where were we? So instead of sending the dialogue object reference I want to send just the text. 
So we need to replace them one by one. Lucky me. So let's do that. So here it either send an array of strings or a dialog. In a set of dialog, we send string. And here in a set of say get dialog. Um, actually even this one won't work we need to access the current game not the game file in here we need to access the reference so we will do game core cgc but wait 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 I need to make dialogues on the fly too. The whole point is to make dialogues on the fly, silly you. Silly you. That's why I didn't send the string along. Maybe I wasted too many too much time trying to make tasks while I was lo looking at the code. Oops. all right all right all right add font size for arabic and others 30 minutes of misery not doing anything useful add font size for arabic and others okay okay this one should be i mean all right what i was going to do to add a font size how can i do that the easiest way is to add the font inside the dialogue itself uh, the problem is that um, no, even English deal with dialogues. Hmm. The problem is I didn't put it in the constructor when I load and save the game, and I should do that. Let me have some of the coffee. Well, for now, let's implement it and see how it will work. So here, protected, public, what should I do it? Well, I could make a property for it. So protected internal. Mm, byte. I don't think you want a size of more than 255. Uh, font size. Public byte set font size. Return font size. All right. So each dialog should have font size of 11. Mm, I just remembered something. Uh, the Arabic font that we made are uh, actually yeah it's not only one number it's a rectangle actually mm. then we need to this for example is 20 no 10 by 11 all right all right all right all right so let's make font size x and 10 by 11 10 by 11 And in the English one, we only deal with the font X for non-Arabic use 
font size x. All right, all right, all right. So here, actually, I can make the font size as I said for the non Arabic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let, let's do that. All right. What I was going to do. So we have these values. Later on, I'm going to assign them when I save and load the file. So I need to put them... Let me save this one. Why it didn't load the map? Alright. So here I need to add a small box for the size of the dialog itself. Uh, and choices, should they have a size too? I don't think the choices should have a size. They should be fixed. But the dialog itself should have size. So maybe I'll add it here. But anyhow, uh, let me see. Uh, now we have the values here. Let's go to the place where we draw them. Um. And we didn't throw when it's dragging. We didn't throw the Arabic one yet. Let's finish the whole thing, then we will do that. Uh, texture dictionary, alpha, Arabic, alpha. So, this part is when it's Arabic, and this part when not Arabic. Let's try to do that. So, is there a way to change the font on the fly, I wonder? Uh, the font size, I mean. Let's take a look. Yeah, we have a scale, but... I'm not sure. Let me check the internet. Things like these... You should check the internet. It save a lot of time. Uh, so let me. Yeah, I saw the scale. Oh, really? So, as I figured, it's not that smooth. Uh, we could make different sizes. Uh, I was thinking about that to be honest, but I don't think that's the smartest idea. Yeah, I could do this too, but really... Let me see.
I can save them in the dictionary. And based on the dictionary, uh, integer or byte, it returned the right one, but really? Hmm. And I'm not sure what's the size of this font in the first place. The thing is, this thing is loaded from the game, not from the game engine. So I need to make sure that it is um, as smooth as possible, I can say. Let's take a look. Um, what's the size of the sucker? Oh boy. Let me try making a new uh, font and let's call it font size 10. What the hell? Feed you. Did they add a video? Finally? I'll check it later. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out, it's kind of silly, but I'm trying to figure out how to change the stupid font. And I don't believe it that I can't from here. Um, let me see. <coughs> I don't want to waste more time on this. Oh, of course. So I need to open the file. Okay. I thought it will be RTF or whatever the format will be. Come on. Oh yeah. It is XML. Or XML like. Hmm. Okay, so this sucker is twelve. Do I really need to make like six of them? I know I mean what the hell? Uh let's try to do the thing. Let's make this one into 42 the thing is how can i let's make it 42 and let's delete this one and let's rebuild 
How much did I made it? I already forgot. Forty two. So if I want to turn it into eleven, I need to divide it by forty two and multiply it by eleven. So let's go to the scale cap and give it a try. Rotation, origin, effect, scale. So rotation is a float. Origin is a vector. Scale. is 42 no 11 over no not 11 it's the dialogue size is start to annoy me uh, this is the result of the dialogue which is a string um, uh, how can I access the dialogue the current dialogue dang it well the way how you build the whole crap I fear you can't Take a look. Yeah, all of them are menu components. Mm. And when we create one, some of them have dialogue, some of them are not. Oh, silly you. Silly you. Alright. So the dialogue have the font. But when we create one of these guys, it usually have a dialogue, but not always. And when it has a dialogue, it should be printable. I need to make an interface to show which dialogue is printable or not and instead of asking is printable mm. 
So let's collect the dialogues together. What am I saying? Sorry, not dialogues. Game components or menu component. Alright. A little bit boring, but this is my work, I fear. Uh, yeah, I believe I need to add an interface. Uh, because not all menu components are dialogue based. I mean, the group box doesn't, shouldn't have a dialogue. Or does it? The frame doesn't have a dialogue. But actually, I gave it one. Yeah, you need to do it. You just need to do it. Because you have one exception. That's being well, in the future, you might have more. I printable but I need to remove the printable boolean that's what's bothering me and this one should return the font but give me a second for now um, label is printable. Can I do that? <sighs> All right. Frame have a dialogue, I fear. Even though it was my example, which one doesn't have a dialogue? Um, the dialogue frame should have a dialogue, definitely. Actually, it should have a list, and I will complete that soon. Uh, button does have a dialogue. Text box have a dialogue. But not the text marker. Finally, we found an example. So, here... There's something called, it's printable. I need to remove that now. So, We need to call the default. Well, this guy shouldn't have a text uh, wrapper. So here, and instead of saying this, we should say is I printable. And same here. All right. Now, because we have the interface, we can put some functions in here, like, um, Hmm. Hmm. These three? And 
and I believe to make an interface extract method called refactoring provider and count an error Jesus I screwed up the IDE itself I believe you can do it like this no maybe like this yeah and we cannot use public and now we need to implement them Mm, sometimes I wish if this helper doesn't take more lines than what it should be. So here we kind of just return the font size. We need to return the dialog. Oh yeah, part of the frame doesn't have dialogues. So that's why we have an interface. After all, the guy who's doing everything need to know which does and which doesn't. Why does guys call differently? I have no idea. I have no idea. <sighs> Sometime I will make a tool that allow you to copy and paste more than once. Let's save. Now let's return to the drill and try to add a scale. Hmm. Uh, the thing is, this guy still is not i printable. <coughs> So the font of it is 11 and we have 42 already so we should say 11 over 42 all right um great of course Well, what is layer depth? Let's make it one. Hmm. Well, when I drag, it doesn't do the calculation. 
So it becomes 42. Um, hmm. Ten as a byte, but we need it as a float. I wonder. So the time is up. I should take a break. But before that, let me try. It might be. Oh yeah, so it became 11, beautiful, it doesn't, yeah, it, the, you can see there is uh, some pixels there and there, so it's not perfecto, hmm. you don't know how much I hate this crap, um, Are you telling me I need to make like 50 different fonts? I don't think the font uh, take a lot of memory. I mean, it's a freaking font. But seriously, cannot I change into a fly? I mean, why? For the God's sake, why? Some of the stuff in the mono game and XNA, it just worrisome. So, this one. Is two kilobyte. Hmm. Actually, it's heavier than I thought. Two kilobyte. Why is that? And why does it still have these things? I deleted them. Maybe I need to rebuild, but I rebuilt it as well. Um. Yeah, why this sucker is 2 kilobyte? It doesn't make sense. Hmm. So yeah, I, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh, the dots and the things. Um, what happened if I make this one into 24? And made this one 24. And maybe it's the layer depth, I don't know what the hell is that. Actually, it looks better, but I still can see the dot in the same place. Anyhow, time's up, so let's take a break. I never thought that changing the font would be this kind of issue. And I'm not sure if I'm going to make 150 font or something. I mean, even if I made 50 font, it's 100, 100 kilobyte. It's not that bad. And we are not going to make a font less than nine. Maybe I should cheat a little bit. And the notepad, when you check the phones, yeah, let's take a break. There are certain numbers in here, actually. Let me steal them. And there are like 20 only. All right, all right, all right. Let's take a break first.
Sorry, being late. Apologizing for the future audience, as usual. I'm not sure why I didn't give up on gaining some fame. You got who he's gaining some fame on the internet. It seems impossible. It just nobody give a fuck. I mean, what do you do is so boring. Your playing channel is boring. Why do you think we won't care? Oh well, uh, let's start doing stuff. The microphone's on. The beer right back is off. Let me check other programs. What do they say about the font? If I know how to change it. Silly you. Uh, yeah, I cannot see format. Sitting maybe? Next action. Really? There you go. So actually, the phone's numbers. Unless, but they are the same thing. There's no 56 for the or actually there's five, and there's no five in here. So let, let's let's make a list. Let's make a list. How many of them? Around 15 of them. Before I do a list, let's just size 8. Yeah, it's unreadable. So, size 8 is a big no. Size nine, because the smallest I test so far. Oh wait, 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 wait. We didn't scale it down. Um, we scaled it down. I mean, how to get the thing? Okay, 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 whatever. Let's just seal this one. So actually eight is readable. It's still a little bit small, but readable.
Alright, alright, alright. So we are going to convert uh, this thing into a dictionary. That have two numbers, byte and sprite font. And here we will call it font AR. And we are going to do some changes. We are going to, first of all, add a few fonts. And we need to add the font color later on. Come on, open, damn it. Oh, it's open already. Oh. Alright. So we are going to delete this font. Oh, why? Yeah, 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 we turned it back. Um, let's rename it instead. And let's call it. Hmm. Font 8. Or S8. And we will edit this one. And now. Open file. And we will make the size 8. Perfect. Let's. Can I copy it? No. Open file location. Mm, I can copy it here. And I can delete these two. And rename this one into 9. It will take some time. A lot of boring time. Edit. 9. And drag. Let's see. Alright, alright, alright. So what's the size we have? We have... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Because when I scaled it, it gave me some issues. Maybe I can scale some of these, but not all of them. But to be honest, if it is a little bit like 1% more clearer to have a separate file, I will go with that. 28, 36, 48, 72. I don't think I need 72 in the game engine, but we will add 72 too. So let's make the files. This will take some time. So, 10. Eleven. Let me copy one by one. Twelve. Fourteen. Sixteen. Eighteen. Unfortunately, we're not in an American show or a cartoon. I can make a montage or a few hours later. Twenty. Did I miss something? Twenty-two. 
24, 26, 28, 36, almost there. Forty eight, seventy two, now we need to change all of them. I need to find a function to find the nearest number between these numbers. Yeah, I need to do something like this. Like if the dialog for some reason says, but I can avoid the whole problem by adding a combo box to represent the font size and make the uh, font size private. So I can change it directly. So there are ways around it. 48. I wonder if Arial is the font of choice. All right. Now we take all and add them here. In the initialize, we add font is 10, right. We do add eight and the font. Now we need to add all of them here. I could make a loop, but screw the loop because the loop won't work because the numbers are not regular. Let me um, oh, take the folder and put it on the second screen. And that will make it a little bit easier. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 36, 48, and the last one, 72. So let's take a look. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 36. Oh, good, good. All right. Now let's change the sucker. Oh, of course. 12, 14. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 36, 72. Oh, okay. 
So now when we draw the font in here, we are going to use because this thing is printable we need to access the dialogue inside it and synth font um, as I said this thing can be changed um, by a function and we need to prevent that later on but now i shouldn't worry too much about it uh let's do all the changes uh the arabic one is the only one different because we are not using the system hmm just to make things even more complicated uh how can we change the arabic one well easy um here Let's see, I need to change these two values, but do we have them, yeah, we have them everywhere. Wait, we should add two sizes of fonts, actually. Um, it will be a little bit more complicated than I thought. Hmm. That's why I gave myself a month. Um, I need to know the original size of the font and the scale for the Arabic one. Uh, excuse me. All right, all right. Um, this is should be the original size and scale, but the scale should be float. Let's make it complete font size scale. I know, I know, that's why I need to change the printable. Hmm. But shouldn't be the scale get affected? by the original size hmm yeah 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 I mean if I want to say let's they make the font into 20 for all the languages then it should affect the Arabic one and the non-Arabic one so we are going to convert this into a float and do the calculation based on the original size but for now we need to change all of these guys Sometimes I feel most of my work is going around loops, especially when I'm not that focused. It's 
the effect of when you waste an hour trying to do something and you fail. It happens. And now let's test this crap. So this is, should be size crash. Oh, uh, maybe I didn't rebuild the thing. So this is size 10. Let's test 8. Yeah, it's smaller. Let's test one that doesn't exist. It should crash. So we need to either prevent that completely, which is should I should do that. Of course, uh, later on I will give the ability to to change for each what the hell. Why does why the text is trackable? The text shouldn't be trackable. Hmm. Interesting. So we kind of add the font, but not for Arabic. I mean, I didn't implement it completely. The font is for some reason is draggable. Change that. And the funny part is not only the font. I mean, even the font in the The Arabic one is not draggable. And actually I cannot drag a shit. Uh, maybe because it's trying to do a lot of... Um, God. It only should move with the uh, group that is moving. I need to fix some of this stuff. <sighs> First of all, focus for a second. this crap with passion
Then who the fudge is to go uh, Okay, calm down. Calm down. Let's take a look. Someone is printing some sentences. And I need to remove that. And I believe it's in the menu. But for some reason I cannot find it. Um, am I losing my head as usual? I took three days break. I should be less stressful. How can you be less stressful when you're dealing with this crap? Alright. Who's printing the crap? Dang it. When the layer change. Yeah, when the layer change. That's in the priority list. I shouldn't use the console inside this guy. So the funny part is, dragging the font, the Arabic one is working fine, but not the English one. For some reason, it drag whole font. It should only drag the font of the menu that I'm dragging. So what's going on? Because I copied this one from there. Okay. 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 Th this is what happens when you drag without thinking. So we add the size, but we need to add the size in the behind the scene for each dialogue in the map simulator. So 
So these both are behind. I don't want to stream it because it will deal with save and load. But this one is done and tested. And this one is fixed. Well, this one, not for the Arabic. Well, I'm not going to work on it now. Well, I can work on this one. Let's try to work on this one. Actually, where is it? I want to add the dialogues, uh, the delegates for, um, yeah, I don't see it. Uh, I didn't add it then. Let's add it. Add menu component mouse font C. Mouse click. Uh, and add menu. Optional parameter. All right, so let's work on that. So here, the text box should be fixed when you click on it, but maybe I need to add the left click. But how can you add? Oh wait, this is a label. I already have a label, weird, when? So we want to add an optional here. So for example, the problem is we have an override cramp. So I need to add them in both places. So um, let me check the font C first before I do anything stupid. Is it a function? It should be, right?
I feel a little bit dizzy. Actually, a lot. So my head is not working as it should be. Um, let, let's 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 give it a try. Um, hmm, so delicate. this yeah I'm fooling around a little bit uh, let me see uh not next dot net I haven't dealt with the function like this before, but let me, let me, let me try, let me try, let me try. Encapsulate a method that has one parameter and return a value of the type specified by the tResolve parameter. Well, we don't want to return anything. Maybe I'm using the wrong guy. So let, let me search, let me search, let me search. C sharp function pointer. Well, we can, we are already using delegates. But is this considered a delegate? Yep, it is a delegate. Hmm. But this one is anonymous, right? How can we encapsulate it? Let me see. In other classes, we already did that. Hmm. We have delegate. And we have Yeah, but I never ever, hmm, 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 all right, let's give it a try, let's do it, do it as a delegate, where were we, label, label, mouse, click, delegate. MC is equal to nothing. There you go. Um, I wonder if MC is taken. Yeah, I fear MCs are taken, so let's do uh, mouse click delegate. 
Oh man. What now? Oh, of course. Oh, this sucker lives where? It's lived somewhere. Um, any component, maybe? No, I fear it lives in. Yeah, it is here. But it's protected internals. Sometimes I hate these cars. No, he's still not happy. Happy now? Alright. If this guy is not null, then this guy is equal to this guy. So we need to change all of them like this. Not these two. Oh, I wanna... No, I don't think so. Uh, this is uh, the normal frame. This is the normal dialog. Let's add it to this guy. Mouse delegate. Mouse delegate. Mouse delegate. Next, do I want to override the text MC? No, no. Maybe for the lift click. 
but this is a little bit dangerous because if I want to add a menu for the left click it will override the, the right click thing and I'm not sure how to do that so I will do it later We add a way to add a delegates for the buttons and I should somehow make some kind of tags for them. Like make a generator for them using a tag and it generate the appropriate uh, delegate for them. So that's another task, but it's not tested. So this should be in game I and I file or class sigh sigh I'm bored to death But I was planning to finish all of these today and we are ready at 2 I mean I want to finish everything in a week in 7 days and uh, this one will take some time because I need to do uh, text crop I don't know why I'm dizzy and I have a headache. It's annoying. I'm trying to work, dang it. So let's at least do the choices return a new dialogue. No, it does not mean. Oh, that thing. Hmm. Everything is wrong today. So, if we have a choice, we need a new dialogue to make a story. And based on the choice, we uh, get another key. So, let's try to do that. So, let's make a new key. Let's organize it first before we do a mess. Uh, 
for example NBC one P one MBC one P two MBC one P three Keep choices how can I do that now English and Arabia key results. We can have infinite number of choices. But depends on the game. We can make um, artificial limitation. Like in this game, we have only six choices at most. But it actually shouldn't have um, limitation. So I wish if it is uh, more organized. I mean, can I make the line on the right thicker? or different color Maybe green wasn't the right color. Neither the red. Maybe another red or ah. Lining me, Maybe because it's I I, I want to make it clear or dang it I want to make it clear I want to make it okay take it clear I'm not Francis. What I was going to do yeah. The sky green. Not clear. All right. Fair enough. So, I 
For example, let's say we have three choices. And let's say, good day. How are you doing? Alright. And the key has good. How about you? Oh, let's keep it simple. Um, and this one will take us to number two. Um, not good. It could be better. And this one will take us to number three and get lost and this will take us to number four so here in color and let's do behala jayde aw al ahwal ta'bana on a hook Zaina Walhamdulillah. So we have NBC one K two three four. So in here glad to hear that. What's wrong with me? Oh, hopefully things will get better. Cannot you respect your elder boy? All right. So here. I look at your bunny. Alhamdulillah. Sa'ita bi liqa'ik. Salamat. Inshallah. Kill the shaykh. Khair. Ahtaram. اللي أكبر منك يا صع لوك يا all right so now we need to make these keys and only this one have four choices or three choices um, I'm not sure how the thing will work if we don't have a choice should be should I make it on default um, have an okay choice to close the dialogue. I believe so. I believe so. So let's copy them. So number one, have choices. We didn't name the choices. Oopsie. The choices should have a name. Choice name or key. Choice key. Ooh. Oh. 
now things get complicated. What's wrong with this? Okay, calm down. Uh, the key could be... I mean, I could fix the name for the keys, but no. I don't wanna. Fix it. I'll fix it. I see. I will color it blue soon. Give me a second. And actually, time's up. I need to take my second break. <sighs> okay, the last thing I need to do is... Correct the blue thing. Let's give a name for the keys first. So I can call it MBC one K one C one or symbol C one. Let's take a break and after the break I'll return back.
I still feel dizzy but I will give my best to do some progress before I end the day if I can end four hours it will be nice so let's move the, the example here so in MBK1 MBK2 MBK3 MBK4 In MBK1 the Arabic MBK2 MBK3 MBK4 and MBK1 we need um, C1, C2, C3. C1 is C2 C3 And the Arabic one or Arabic side Oh, oh crap, um, crap, uh, we made a table. I don't like the format. It's not easy to scroll. So the Arabic one. The only thing lo uh, last, uh, last, 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 last. Uh, is the tag so dialogue um, I didn't program anything to make this thing working but that's my job now What did I close? <sighs> and I forgot to turn on the timer, silly me. Let's say six minutes past. Even though I don't think so. I have a headache and I'm quite dizzy in the same time. So I might screw up a lot of things and hopefully I should, uh, I hope I won't. If things get worse, I will stop working um, completely. Okay, in the test game, we need to do something that behave as a dialogue. In this case, we have three buttons, so we will make uh, dialogue have three buttons. 
of four buttons and only show three because the fourth one doesn't exist. And we need to do this soon. So how can we do that? First of all, let's try to make our own menu component inside the game itself and see how it will work. So custom classes, add, GUI. And in the GUI, we are going to steal um, the small dialog one. So this one, using game lover using string separator and we might use other things so this one should behave similar to the form of frame with extra stuff we are going to add four buttons for it and it should have an original dialogue hmm well let me see yeah yeah it should have an original dialogue Actually, I already I was already working on this one, but let's forget about this one for now. Let's make one. So first of all, the name is wrong. Yeah, I feared 
such a thing. Why? It's public here, it's public here. Why? Ah, this thing is not public. Hmm. Still? Hmm. I hate this shit, but I have to do it. You really don't want to do that, do you? I need to be a little bit careful of this. The thing is, half of my... Well, the dialogues that I don't want to change are an instance of dialogues. But the ones that I want to change are references. And the references... that tired come on it's easy but I uh, I failed to describe what I was trying to do um, fuck okay Of course, we need to protect it by checking if this thing exists. So here we set the dialog by using the key and we need to return the dialog key as well but we need to be careful with this too we shouldn't change this on the fly unless if it is um, a real object, not a reference. Alright. Fucking A.
Oh man. All right. I hate this crap. I'm losing everything. No, oh, of course. I need the key only. Can I just make it public and kill myself? Oh wow, where is it? And half of the problems fly away. Fuck off. All right. Hmm. I didn't know the bite is a start. Yeah, th th this is horrible. Um, I'm going to cut the chase and stop working, unfortunately. I can't even focus. Uh, well, thank you for watching, future watchers, audience, and see you next time.